Jimmernam just hit me up on Twitter and uh my god, he's made TMZ. <laughs> so um let's go ahead and get into this article. Now, to give you some uh backstory here, as you know, Jimmernam has been in constant war with the Gonzo Podcast Network. I've talked about them before on my other channels and sometimes in drunken live streams. If you don't know, they're this YouTube channel that basically tried to buy them with their way onto YouTube. I first came across them when he first mentioned them. And this is back, I believe, when he was still working with them. And I went and checked them out and I was like, wait, how do you have, I think at the time they had like 4,800 subscribers, but 2,000 views? And I was like, how is that possible? And then it came, last time I checked, they have 10,000 views. And then they started um, smartening up and back um, upping their views. So if you go like the first 10 videos on their channel, they all got 10,000 views. Then their next video has like 20. <laughs> so they've spent a lot of money into this Gonzo podcast network to try and build this shit up. And actually a lot of this, what I'm saying right now, is part of the call I did in the Jimmernam. So go to his channel and check it out. I called in. He put it on all three of his channels. So I'm looking at this article by TMZ about Jimmernam. It says, Howard Stern's show, High Pitch Eric Victimized in Podcast War, claims Jeff Gonzo. Is this... Now, you Jimmernam people are going to have to help me out with this. Does this Gonzo guy have, like... Something to the, uh, I'll just, I can just ask Jim Renan, but I don't know if you had a time in the com, comments. All right. So it says, some of the Howard Stern shows, hugely popular cast of characters are in a podcast war that's now turned into a lawsuit and whack pack or high pitch Eric's caught in the middle. Jeff Henson produces content for the Gonzo podcast network, home of the Gonzo Shitcock from the Stern Show. Henson claims Jimmer Nam, a Stern superfan, and others are trying like hell to crush the Gonzo Network. And says a prime example of the plotting is what happened to Gonzo's buddy High Pitch. Um, crush? My cr <sighs> These fucking. These guys. Dude, you bought all your subscribers of <laughs> you. Go watch any of their videos. Like two people watching. I guess that's trying to crush. I mean, I know him and Jim and Ann went to war. That's why I told like all y'all other people trying to stop with Jim and Ann. This dude, his wars go to TMZ get coverage. <laughs> Let's keep going. It puts in the suit. He says attorney Vincent and BC convinced Eric to allow his apartment to be wired with cameras and mics so he could do daily, daily broadcast, presumably on the Jimmer Nation podcast network and not Gonzo's network. I, I don't know. Oh, God, I guess this is that Gonzo dude in high pitch Eric. Henson says they went even further by harassing and making fun of Eric. They made fun of high pitch air. Uh, yeah, he's not used to that. <laughs> he claims they sent food deliveries to his home and swatted him, calling in false reports to cops and firefighters. So often, it got Eric evicted from his apartment. According to the docs, Nam also got personal on one of his podcasts by calling Gonzo a lifelong criminal who took advantage of an elderly couple. Gonzo denies that and says Nams defamed him. Henson's hitting Jimmer and BC and others with the hine, meaning he's suing them for at least $5 million. My God. So... Jimmer Nam has made TMZ. And uh, I find this to be amazing. <laughs> and uh, we're always here on this channel, Team Jimmer Nam. <laughs> I find this. All I know is in this situation, I see this Gonzo dude. I see the bought four subs. You had 
more subs than you did views, and now you got 10,000 subs. You backlogged all your views in a row, by the way, which is dumb. <laughs> so, like, his first 10 videos have 10,000 views, then it immediately drops to 20. He did all this, by the way. Like I said, you can go listen to me and Jim around his video because we got into this, but my belief is he did this, like he's trying to buy a presence on YouTube to get people to do shows because I guess he's got like Mary Carey doing like these sort of pseudo Z-list celebrities and he'll you can go to him like hey I got a YouTube channel with you know 10,000 subscribers and come do a show with us so like I said I find it to be a weird business model because they've spent my estimation, probably at least thirty thousand dollars. Well, all the Jimmer, I think, actually thinks it's more than that. But I'm thinking they had to buy the subs, they have to pay host, they're gonna do all this equipment. I don't know, but go check out this uh, TMZ thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Jimmer then made TMZ, and uh, can't find the Jimmer. <laughs>